hello guys welcome to my shop and yes today I'm using English language because this project is request by my uh, viewer that support me on my PayPal Mark and Ryan thank you Mark thank you Ryan and yes today project I will uh, upgrade my first project if you see my first project about die holder and that die holder need to be fixed because uh, it's not so practical so i'm going to make the second gen for this die holder project this is going to be make a lot more easier okay uh not wasting any time let's get build it okay like you can see in here this is my first build and I will modify this die holder into die holder gen 2 so actually I don't have a problem with my first build but uh, the second build I'm going modified it's the uh, better one a lot better than the first build the first thing I'm going to do is make this diameter more smaller than the actual size like you can see here and the next step is I'm going to remove this die housing because I will no longer use and I will make the housing for the die is on another structure and actually to build this uh, die holder gen 2 it's pretty easy and simple it's nothing complicated with this uh, build I'm sure you guys will make uh, better than me and after resizing the size of this diameter uh, the next step is just make chamfer so this this corner is not going to be sharp enough okay the first step is already done this is from my uh, first die holder first build and the next is we are going to make another uh, the second structure this is I'm using the the stock that laying around on my workshop is actually is S400 it's not 4140 this is mild steel for this second structure I'm going to make a hole first so I'm going to use this uh, center drill and I will make a hole until uh, maybe like uh, a bigger hole than the outside diameter on the first structure okay after done with the center drill I'm going to change with this uh, 16 millimeter uh, drill bit and after that I just continue with 20 millimeter drill bit if you hear the rain on the back sound yeah on my place now it's monsoon so it's a lot of heavy rain right now and having a metal lathe and milling machine on my workshop is helping me a lot because I'm a fabricator I make I build something and this tool is awesome and I want to say thank you to my viewer to Mark and Ryan because uh, you guys support I can bought this two machine and that was awesome thank you so much Mark thank you Ryan I really really appreciate what you do uh, to me and um, I can not say more just thank you thank you so much
Okay, after drilling with the 20 millimeters, the next step is I'm going to mill the inside. So uh, I'm going to make a bigger hole than 20 millimeters. So this hole is going to fit with the first structure. And I also going to make the housing for the dice. So the dice is going to mount on this uh, second structure not the first one and be careful when you turning this you don't want uh, the size is bigger than the first structure because it's going to make uh, pretty bad wobbling so you have to be careful also when you making the dice the housing for the dice it's had to be uh, fit nice fit And one more thing, when you turning the inside of this uh, second structure, you have to uh, check the length, the depth of this. You, you have to measure the first structure before you turning the inside of this second structure. Like you can see here, I make marking for the depth so I know when I stop. Like you can see here, it seems like a slow process because I had to take a slow cut uh, because I don't want to get a problem because I need this hole is fit with the first structure. I don't want it to go deep because uh, if off the measurement, I get wobbling so bad so after that I just going to check okay I think this is uh, fit enough but uh, it's actually it's not make me happy because uh, the hole is uh, slightly bigger than I had to uh, make the next step I'm going to make the housing for the dice this also you have to be careful because you don't want to go further you have to get the fit size for this uh, dice housing if you're working with the metal lathe or the milling machine you need to be exactly precise because you will make mistake if you don't use the precise measurement so uh, the key is you have to check every time every cut because uh, you will have mistake if you don't uh, oftenly check what you're cutting on the metal lathe or the milling machine Okay, after making this housing for the dice is done and it's a uh, tight fit, the next process I'm going to go to the milling machine and I'm going to make a slot uh, for the second structure. So the size of the slot is I'm going to measure this uh, first structure. So I will make marking and after that I just go uh, make a hole on this uh, second structure make uh, a slot hole
okay this slot is 12 millimeters so I'm going to use M8 Allen bolt so the head of the bolt is uh, 12 millimeters so I think it's going to be a nice fit between the slot and the bolt and of course yes I'm going to slightly make it bigger like uh, half millimeters because the this slot is had to be uh, loose with the bolt that uh, attaching on the first structure so the this is going to be uh, the runner the second structure is going to slide over the first structure and the next step is I'm going to make the bolt seat so because the first structure is round I need to flat the, the surface because the bolt is have to be seat very nicely on this uh, first structure and the next step is I want to make a hole a drill a hole because I'm using M8 bolt so I had to drill 6.8 millimeter and after that I just tap it with the M8 uh, tapping first I will use the pilot hole this time I'm using 5 millimeter drill bit and after that I'm continue with 6.8 millimeter drill bit so the result is going to be a nice fit and one more if you tapping this make sure that your tap is attached with your drill press or the milling machine so it's going to be starting on the straight a 90 degree angle is not going to be making a side to side angle so after first marking and I'm continuing with the hand tapping okay now I think it's 90% uh, of the structure is already done so like you can see here the second structure is slide in I'm going to attach the M8 bolt like so and this sliding very nicely and the uh, second the last the last process is making this uh, locking mechanism for this uh, dice you can see that two uh, shallow hole is going to be the locking mechanism and I'm using a set screw two set screw for locking this uh, dice and I'm going to make M4 hole and tapping with the M4 tapping okay after tapping the M4 
so I will make a countersink like so so it's going to be a nice fit with the set screw okay after making the set screw hole two set screw hole and I think this uh, project is already done but uh, I'm not happy with the result because the first structure and the second structure is not a uh, tight fit it's a little bit wobbling so I went I have to uh, do something with that and I already make the punch on the on the first structure like you can see here it's so many mark this is a punch hole but it's not fixing the the wobbling so I will I use this knurling to make the structure a little bit bigger by making the the first structure uh, knurling okay there is always a way to fix your mistake like mine like this on the this uh, metal working so uh, but uh, I recommend you to more careful each cut with your uh, milling machine or your metal lathe because uh, if you make a mistake you cannot uh, redoing again you just make a new one so uh, in this mistake uh, maybe I can fix by making this uh, knurling uh, like so so I hope it's going to fix my problem with the wobbling between the first structure and the second structure okay the knurling process is already uh, done I hope it's going to fix my problem wobbling problem and I also make this knurling on the second structure it just to make it look nicer okay I think uh, my problem is already fixed it's not wobbling so bad like the first time and I just going to assemble this and let's get tested uh, to make a M8 bolt you need to mill this until you get 8 millimeter in diameter after that just uh, just tap it with the dice okay I think uh, this project is already done and thank you so much for watching don't forget to uh, subscribe and write a comment and uh, hit like button and uh, don't forget to uh, follow my Instagram at John Arif DIY also my Facebook page you can uh, check on my description and thank you for Mark and Ryan this project is uh, I presented to you as a thank you and uh, okay I think this is it uh, thank you for watching and see you on the next one cheers